So I am talking about Red Wine Press Serum. Thanks everyone for joining me who's on here. Um, and as I've been posting about my, my routine and stuff like that, again, I apologize for yawning so much. <clears throat> Um, as I've been posting about my routine and stuff like that, you might have um, noticed that I haven't said I've been using the red wine serum a lot in the last week, and that's because I'm almost out um, of what I had in my little sample from the summer box. And that is a problem <laughs> because uh, I realized that I was actually using too much. Um, I didn't realize that I only had to use like really the tiniest amount. Um, of the press serum and I was actually using too much and it probably would have lasted me all the way through this week if I hadn't. Hey Jennifer. So um, yeah, so I have very little left in my little sample. So I'll show you how much I've left, which is just the like the tiniest little dip here um, left of my red wine serum. I have used a lot of it. Um, but this should also tell you something about how much I like this product. And um, it's not my first time using the Red Wine Press Serum um, as a summer box reviewer. I have, <laughs> yeah, I break. I have used it um, previously. I got a sample of it a couple, well, I think when it was first introduced, and then I really liked it, and I got a big container of it um, afterwards, and I used that a lot. Um, I think I used that. Uh, during a summer because that's one of the great things about um, this particular product is that if you are a person with um, maybe normal skin or um, like oily skin, like I have sort of combination skin now, but um, probably if you're not a person with like super dry skin, you can get away with using the Red Wine Press Serum um, as both Oh my God, could someone please count how many times I yawn in this video? Because I'd really like to, I'd like to know. Um, what it, Again, what I like about this product is that um, it can sort of do double duty in the morning, in the summer for your routine. So you can put on, you, you can cleanse your face in the morning and then, you know, put on whatever you want. And then you can finish with the red wine press serum and it will moisturize and sort of treat your, your skin the same way that a serum would, which is super great. Um, and I really, really like it for that reason, um, particularly in the summer where you're not exposed to a lot of wind and cold. Um, so that is the one thing that I like the most about this product. Of course, I would use this product in the winter too, but for me, when I think of red wine press serum, I think of it as like one of the best summer products that Sabbatical Beauty offers because you can use it so easily um, in that respect. You can use it so easily as one of those like double duty products. Um, so... If you have any questions about this product, like it and how I've been using it and, and my experiences with it, you know, feel free to shout out in the comments, but otherwise I'll just kind of keep babbling about it and other stuff. Um, and keep yawning. Oh my God. Wh why? What do you, how do you stop yourself from yawning? Is there a way to do that and not look like a weirdo? Because... I found that when I am like having to talk or record myself or something, I'm yawning like crazy all the time. Maybe I should just do this earlier in the day. I don't know. Whatever. I guess I'm tired. I, I worked, I worked all day. Um, so in my routine, I usually use this in the morning because, you know, it's more potent in that it's a press serum. Usually our serums are in, you know, little bottles and stuff. And they're a little, they're of a thinner consistency so that you maybe rub a little bit more on your face, but this is thicker. So it sort of delivers more potency with a smaller amount. So I think it's in that respect, it's great for morning when you don't have time to spread like a lot of stuff on your face really quickly. Um, yeah. And I really like that. So I would add this into my routine. Um, always when I was doing like a minimal morning routine and a minimal morning routine for me would be like, you know, just using beauty water to cleanse and then maybe um, throwing on like a light serum, like the coconut serum that um, is in the summer box and then red wine. And then of course SPF. And that would be like all I did in the morning if I was doing something really minimal. And I've been doing that a lot recently. 
Hoon says, you must be tired. Same here. Although I just woke up, sleep deprivation is a serious social issue. You are 100% right about that, Fung. Um, I, I did fall asleep. Okay, so I have trouble sleeping a lot of the time, but I did fall asleep, like, I think at 12.30 last night. I woke up at 7, and that's a good six and a half hours, but probably I need more. Probably I'm so stressed and tired that I need more. But I don't like to go to bed early, and I don't like to wake up late, so therefore I sleep very little. Uh, hi, Natalie. How are you? All right. So yeah, so I've been saying that um, I have used so much of my red wine press serum because I really, really like it. And yes, I've been, I've just been like hoarding this little tiny bit left so I could show you um, in this video about it. But yeah, it's the best. I, I really, really like it. It's probably, let's see, if I had to sort of like make a ranking of all of my favorite sabbatical beauty products, um, this would definitely be in the top five, maybe even the top three um, of products that I have really enjoyed from uh, the Sabbatical Beauty brand. Um, so what are your top three Sabbatical Beauty products? And are any of them products that are making an appearance in the summer box? That would be interesting to know. Um, that would be an interesting conversation for all of us to have. Like if we had to rank our top five, like what would they be? You know, like very... Um, like high fidelity style, top five sabbatical beauty products, go. <laughs> Mine would, I think my number one would of course be Marine Serum. If you know me, you know that Marine Serum is my favorite SB product. And then my second favorite product is the Sleeping Beauty um, oil. And then I think red wine might come in third, might be third. Yeah. So yeah, I love this product. This is great. But however, the bamboo cleanser that um, came with the summer box is really, really good too. Why are you whining? Hi, what's going on? That's my dog. He's needy. Does anyone have a needy pet? Anyone have a pet who's just got emotional, who just has a lot of feelings, who has, you know, hashtag big mood all the time. That's what I got. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm not sure what else to talk about. <laughs> um, I, I really, again, I really like red wine. I should probably talk about what it does for my skin. Yeah, that'd be good. Um, what I like about it is the brightening, um, effects that it has on my skin. Um, and how, you know, very alive and awake it makes me look. Um, and that's again, you know, one of the reasons why I use it in the morning. Um, and since I've been using the summer box products, I think my skin has looked really, really, um, alive and awake and really good in that respect. Um, and the red wine serum is part of that because it has those exfoliating properties from the, um, red wine chemicals that are in it. And it just, you know, brings a lot of life to your skin without, um, being rough or abrasive or anything. Susan says, I need to try this one. Yes, you do. Susan, this is the bomb.com. Someone says, do you use red wine press serum under your eyes? I have not actually. Um, and that might be something I should do. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't actually ever used red wine press serum under my eyes. Um, and that might be something I should start doing because I have, you know, my under eyes are pretty dry. So, um, you know, maybe the red wine press serum would help with that. My under eye circles though are kind of less about discoloration and more about, um, like loss of fatty tissue, um, and, and sort of hollowing out and shadows there, but you never know. Natalie says her favorite products, SBO, coconut, blah, 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 all in counts as one. Yes. Absolutely. Natalie says, I use it under my eyes. Okay. Then I'm going to take you guys as advice. You guys, why is there not a proper grammatical way to say you all's possessive? This is one thing that the English language really lacks. I mean, the, the English language is lacking in a lot of ways, but I think that one thing that we're learning here in the 21st century that we've always known for a while, but it's becoming very clear is that the English language is really suffering from a lack of a word 
that is used to, to be the second person plural. And I've always found that, you know, Spanish has vosotros, um, you know, other languages have other words, but English does not have that word, and therefore we have to create words. Nothing wrong with creating words, but I kind of wish that things were a little less clunky. But my point is that I'm going to take y'all's advice. I'm just going to go back to Arkansas. I'm going to take y'all's advice and use my little bit of red wine press serum um, under my eyes, I think. So that'll be good. <laughs> um, and in the evening, yeah, I could do that. I usually don't use a specific eye product in the morning because I... Um, I'm usually putting on makeup there and I don't want to have my under eyes too oily um, to set makeup on. Um, but red wine, it doesn't make me oily. So yeah, that might be a good thing to use. Moon says also sleeping beauty oil right under the eyes. Yeah, I would definitely use sleeping beauty oil under the eyes too, for sure. I'm just holding this. Like, I don't know how, how, what is the best way to hold a product? Like, you remember like the Price is Right and stuff in the 80s and like the spokes models would be like. It's kind of small. So if this was on the Price is Right, like it would be sitting in a little box and then like the spokes model would be stand right next to it and kind of like gesture and, and like pick it up and go, oh, you know. Where are my Price is Right viewers at? Anyway, <laughs> so anyone have any questions about my red wine press serum, your red wine press serum, our collective red wine press serum, all the red wine press serum that sort of hovers above us um, omnipotently in the sky. Natalie and Jennifer said, Jennifer says, I use retinol products under my eyes so far. You're okay. And Natalie says, mm -hmm. I haven't had any issues with putting it, with putting things with retinol under your eyes. That's a good, that's a good question. <clears throat> Natalie says, is this the first time you've used red wine press here? I'm not sure if that's directed at me or at someone else, but it's not the first time I've used it. Actually, if that question was directed at me, um, it's, uh, I've used it before. Um, I had a big container of it last year sometime and um, some other one. I've, I had a sample of it once before too, and I, I really do like it, but I never used it kind of specifically in the under eye area. I just kind of use it all over the face. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I really like this product. It's not my first time using it. I probably used too much back then too, but um I mean, one of the reasons that I chose to review uh, Red Wine this week is because I really, really liked it. So, yeah, it's a great product. Again, top three. I think it, it was in, it's in my top three sabbatical beauty products. This guy. I, I feel the need to, like, fill up the space with stuff. Oh, yes, I know what I was going to say. Completely forgot. Okay. So, um... Sunday is Father's Day, yeah, um, and that's the day when we honor fathers and other male figures in our lives, and um, uh, my dad is uh, not a person who would use skincare, and I don't think I could convince him to, so it's a little bit of a lost cause on him. Um, however, another important male figure in my life is my husband, and you've seen him before on my lives. He's He's a... He's my partner in crime, kind of like, we have a really, you know, we're a relationship is sort of more than spouses. We've been best friends for a long time. Um, and for him, uh, he has used um, sabbatical beauty products and skincare products in the past. And so I would go with his preferences for what I would recommend. And he really liked the Marine Serum. And he's a big fan of wash off masks. So um, any of the masks that are kind of fun to do that, you know, like change your colors on your face and stuff like that, um, I think would be great products to give to a dude, um, of your choosing for Father's Day. Um, I think the Camellia and Rose mask would be a good one. Um, I definitely think the, um, Bethany mask would be really good. Anything that has kind of clay in it, my husband really goes for 
He really likes um, clay wash off masks and clay products and stuff because his skin's pretty oily and he likes the absorbent qualities of clay. I'm holding a chapstick. I don't know why. Um, so I think dudes would really kind of, you know, go for clay products and clay masks because, you know, they have that earthy quality, you know, men, I think can understand like why a clay based product would be good for their skin, even if they're not like super into skincare. Um, so, you know, so, or something with charcoal, like the Bethany mask is, I think that that would be like a good choice to introduce a dude who has not done skincare the way that we do skincare in this group, um, to products from sabbatical beauty. So I would say, you know, any of the masks that are wash off masks or that are sort of fun to do together and you can like have a bonding sesh and like have a little, get your brush out and like put it on your, your uh, dude's face or your father's face or whoever, like, uh, Rachel did, which was so cute. Um, with her dad, she did like the grits for him. I thought that was so funny and so cute and total dad goals. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I am going to firmly say that I think masks are a great skincare choice for guys. has anyone planning on buying or has anyone bought any sabbatical beauty stuff for a dude in their life who's watching right now? Hi, Jennifer. Every time I have like a new wash off mask that I, you know, bring home or buy, um, or, or any kind of new skincare product, though, my husband does prefer certain things. He will always try my masks. He always wants to try my masks, and um, he will always, he's definitely, he's tried my um, aloe and cucumber mist, for sure. He always wants to try different things. Um, and because he's so into masking, like, I think I've said this before, like, when we go shopping, um, if we're at a store that has a skincare section, you know, like Target or something, or if we go to, you know, um, a makeup store, he will look at the masks and he will like want to buy himself one. You know, even if it's just like a trial size or something, like he loves masks. I think he's just a serial trier of masks, particularly clay ones. And, you know, that's pretty cool. And because Sabbatical Beauty has a lot of samples, I think that would be like a fun thing to get for someone, like a little trial set of masks that you know when you put them on your face like you can definitely see that you have a mask on like the charcoal mask or the um chameleon rose mask those are pretty cool is it or i don't know i'm my brain's not processing but i think that those would be really good for a dude to try because then he could like take a selfie with it on and stuff like that. And we know that when you're masking, taking a selfie is really important. It's a very important part of the masking experience to selfie while masking. Can I get an amen? Okay. Oh, I, okay. I got some. Yeah. All right. Thank you, church. Appreciate it. <laughs> all right. So, um, Jennifer says, sorry, I've missed so many works, been sick. Lots of personal things taking your time. Need to wrap my body in a mask. Amen. Yes, Jennifer, I hear you. Um, and I'm sorry that you've been sick and things have been crazy at work. I completely understand. I, My mood and my feelings have gone up and down and, and my physical feeling have gone up and down the last couple of days because it's been so rainy where I live and rainstorms and low pressure trigger my migraines and some days I just feel like garbage and it's so gray and humid and gross out that it just makes me sad. So, but, um, since I'm in sort of a different position in my office, I think I'll show you some stuff in my office. Hey, hey. I'm sitting, uh, against the wall. So, yeah, I'm cool. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take you on a little tour here of uh, the Julie Dome. Um, so right here, and I'm not sure how well you can see. Can you flick that light on, the overhead light? Thank you. 
Not sure how well you can see, but right here is my makeup desk. And this is where I sit every morning or when I feel like doing makeup and do my makeup. You can see my ring light right there. Um, I've got sitting here, got lots of lipsticks and brushes and of course my vacuums right there. Um, these are brushes. This is probably maybe one fifth of all the brushes I own. These are all my lip and eyeliners. This is my lipstick carousel. And this is probably one quarter of all the lipsticks I own. Um, and here, as you can see, I have a ton of lipsticks, um, and palettes and pencils and stuff like that. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately I own a lot of Kat Von D products. This is just, I'm going to, and I really liked her products until she came out as an anti-vaxxer a couple days ago. And now Kat Von D is canceled. Um, and I'm going to continue to use the ones that I have, but I'm not giving her any money ever again. So, sorry, that's just how it goes. Anyway, um, yes, my window is awesome because I live in a super old house. And over here I got my... Um, foundations and sprays and powders and whatnot. And then in this little dude, I've got uh, eyeshadows and blushes and highlighters and then lots and lots of eyelashes. So that's what's in there. And that is, again, only a tiny portion of all of the makeup that I own. I have right next to my makeup desk. I have this built-in chest of drawers, and um, all four of them are filled with, like, makeup and nails and stuff like that. So there's tons of palettes and stuff in there. So that's my makeup area. Now I'm going to show you um, my woo-woo area. And here's this. Um, and you can see I've got, um, some plants, two of them are dying, that's okay. Um, and I've got some sage and some candles and stuff, and then I have my tarot cards sitting right here because, um, in the drawer of this table are all of my decks and, um, some of the stuff that I use for readings. That's not all the tarot books that I own. I have a ton of other tarot books, but, um, that's my little corner where I sit and read my cards and you know, kind of think about spiritual things. So, yeah. So that's that area. <laughs> and then back here, you've seen my little couch and stuff before. Um, over here is my desk, my writing sort of desk. Um, you can see all the stuff on my wall. I've got lots of pictures on my wall. A lot of them were given to me by my husband. He's really, he's a really good gifter and he buys all kinds of cool stuff for me all the time. So I've got lots of little Funko Pops and collectibles and stuff. And I've got, um, lots of cool art on the walls. I've got a cork board that I'm going to make a two vision board. I've got a clock. I've got lots and lots of Funko Pops. Let's take a tour of some of my favorite Funko women. So this is all, um... Funko stuff, of course, there's a She-Ra back there from Comic-Con a few years ago, but um, these are a lot of badass women um, that are uh, Funko Pops. We got um, several people from Black Panther. We've got um, Tina Belcher, of course. Um, got a lot of Harley Quinns. We've got some Star Wars people. We've got Eleven from uh, Stranger Things. We've got Wonder Woman. Chun-Li. Um, Lilu from Fifth Element and this woman, she's from Hellboy she's awesome, oh I've got um, Red Sonia, she's pretty cool um, I've got my She-Ra stuff here that's my husband's book that he wrote and then down here I've got Alien Collectibles, I love the movie Alien so I've got all that on that shelf and then down here I've got stuff from The Breakfast Club and from the movie Hannibal mm. or, not the movie Hannibal, the show Hannibal <clears throat> so that's what's in my room so if you were hoping of for a tour of my office you got it aren't you happy <sighs> so natalie says oh i know about cat bundy jennifer says what happened with cat i've been out of touch with everything unfortunate thing unfortunate for us all um cat bundy 
posted recently on Instagram that she she's pregnant right now and she plans to not vaccinate her child. Um, and it has been a source of great stress for a lot of people with good reason. And um, yeah, so right now people who have been fans of her makeup are sort of sharing um, different dupes for her things and are sort of pledging no longer to support her. And I'm in that camp because I really can't get on board with anti-vaxxing. So um, that's unfortunately what's going on with Kat Von D right now. Um, yeah. Anyway, not to leave on a down note, but um, that's about all for me right now. Um, tomorrow, I believe I will be doing my very last um, Facebook Live here for the Summer Box. Um, I think same bat time, uh, 8 p.m. I'll be talking about my routine. And I don't know, maybe figure something else out um, to talk about. So... Um, thanks everybody for coming and joining me tonight and I hope that you have a great rest of your night and a great tomorrow. If you have questions for me or anything about red wine press serum or any other stuff in my routine, I'd be happy to answer them later on. Um, if you are watching this on the Sabbatical mm -hmm. Beauty YouTube channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's have a good one for the thumbnail. We could do one of these. Let's see. Let's do this. There we go. And I will see you guys later. Have a good night.